Dear students, have a nice time. In the last class, we discussed about some real life problems in which we come across integrals like this i equal to integral x1 to x2 f of x y y dash dx and we have to minimize this integral how can we find the function y of x such that which minimizes an integral like this now we assume that there exists an admissible function y of x that minimizes this integral so to find the function y of x we will first obtain a differential equation involving the solution y of x and the Euler's equation corresponding to the integral i is given by d by dx of dou f by dou y dash minus dou f by dou y equal to 0. I am not going to the details of this equation. Actually, I am omitting this proof here. And here, while computing dou f by dou y dash, in general, we may consider dou f by dou y, y dash as a function of x explicitly and as a function of y and y dash implicitly. Dou f by dou y dash consider chain the samayatha adil x explicitly aitrilla independent variable aitum y um y dash um implicitly adil appear in the variables aitum namla consider in. So this equation becomes if the d by dx of dou f by dou y dash anna namka kaan in the dou f by dou y dash is a function of x, y and y dash. Here x appears explicitly and y and y dash appears implicitly. So, uh, while we do d by dx of dou f by dou y dash, we have dou by dou x of dou f by dou y dash plus, since it is a variable, independent variable which appears explicitly, we have dou by dou x of dou f by dou y dash plus dou by dou y of dou f by dou y dash into dy by dx, okay, plus dou by dou y dash of dou f by dou y dash into dy dash by dx minus this function dou f by dou y equal to 0 and this may uh, written as here the term involving d square y by dx square is this term y dash is dy by dx d by dx of dy by dx is d square y by dx square into dou square f by dou y dash square it can be written as f y dash y dash so this term becomes f y dash y dash into d square y by dx square plus the term involving dy by dx is this one. So, this can be written as f y dash y dy by dx plus now we can write this term this is f y dash x minus this term f y equal to 0. So, actually this is the Euler's equation corresponding to the given integral i. Here we have to consider three different cases. If in the function f x and y are not appearing explicitly. That is, f and the function equation is not appearing That is, x and y is not explicitly What happens? Then, equation 2 becomes x and y is not directly functional. Dou f by dou y is not Dou f by dou x is not appearing. So, these two terms are not appearing. Functional y dash is not appearing. What remains is f y dash y dash into d square y by dx square equal to 0. That is written here. And if f y dash y dash not equal to 0, we have d square y by dx square equal to 0. And integrating twice, we have y equal to c1 x plus c2. So, here the extremals are all straight lines. So, y equal to c1 x plus c2 in the straight line on the samayathana, the given integral i in the minimum assume chain other. And in the next case, we have y is missing from f. f in the expression la x um y dash um ulpadu nandu, pasha y kaana nila. Angani anangil, equation 2 becomes dou by dou x of dou f by dou y dash equal to 0. A case il, dou f by dou y ennada 0 item maru. Okay, so what remains is dou by dou x of dou f by dou y dash equal to 0. And integrating with respect to x, we have dou f by dou y dash equal to a constant c1. And in the last case, if x is missing from the function f, then it can be proved that equation 2 reduces to dou f by dou y dash into y dash minus f equal to the constant c1. So, we f and the function, we have to i and the integral, minimize the chain angle, we have function or the function f is a function of x, y, y dash. We have to minimize the integral, integral x1 to x2, f of x, y, y dash dx. 
इतना मोरी इंटेग्रल मिनिमाइज़ चाहिए ना समय तक ये एडिटरी के ना इक्वेशन ऑफ एफ फिल एफ इन्दे एक्सप्रेशन ला एक्स उम वाई यू मिसिंग आने गिल नमक का डायरेक्ट सॉल्यूशन ए दाम वाई इक्वल टू सी वन एक्स प्लस सी टू इनी वाई मात्रा माने मिसिंग एंगल एक्सप्रेशन ले एक्स उम वाई डाइश में एक्सप्लिसिटली काना नंदा वाई काना नहीं लाएं एंगल वी कैन फाइंड द सॉल्यूशन इव आई इन सच ए वेदर इड इक्वेशन रेलेवेंट इक्वेशनस डॉइफ बाय डॉ वाई डाइश इक्वल टू सी वन एंड इफ ओनली एक्स इस मिसिंग फ्रॉम दिस एक्सप्रेशन वी हैव द एक्सप्रेशन लास्ट सेक्शन ला नमला मून अ प्रॉब्लम से डिस्कस ये देरनो अदेल आधे ता प्रॉब्लम आने दा टू फाइंड द शॉर्टेस्ट कर्व जॉइनिंग द पॉइंट्स एक्स वन वाई वन एंड एक्स टू वाई टू वी नो एक्चुअली इट इस अ स्ट्रेट लाइन पासिंग द्रीस टू पॉइंट्स अदेल इंगेने आना ये कारण ना इप्पन नमले डिस्क we have to minimize the integral i equal to integral x1 to x2 square root of 1 plus y dash square dx. This integral is in the current section we discuss it. So, this integral minimize the same way. We have x1, y1, x2, y2 and the two points in the minimum distance in the curve. Here is f of x, y, y dash. This is the function of square root of 1 plus y dash square. ये फंक्शन हो क्या आल अदेल ला वाई डैश मात्र में एक्सप्लिसिटली कारण नो लो एक्स उम वाई उम मिसिंग आना सो वी हैव द इक्वेशन इफ एफ वाई डैश वाई डैश नॉट इक्वल टू सीरो देन द सॉल्यूशन इस वाई इक्वल टू सी वन एक्स प्लस सी टू सो वेर इस शो दैट एफ वाई डैश वाई डैश इस नॉट इक्वल टू so you differentiate this function with respect to y dash twice then we will get the answer as 1 by 1 plus y dash square raised to 3 by 2 clearly it is not equal to 0 therefore by case a we can conclude that since f y dash y dash is not equal to 0 minimum is obtained if we take y equal to c1 x plus c2 so we can say that minimum curve minimum length of the curve is a straight line so this represents a family of two parameter family of straight lines. पर शायद नामक के वड़ा प्रॉब्लम तेल वैंड दा x1 y1 ऐना पॉइंट इन अन्ना स्टार्ट टी चाहिए दा x2 y2 ला आवश्यानी के ना कर्व आना. So clearly that particular straight line will be the straight line joining these two points. And what is the formula for a straight line joining the points x1 y1 and x2 y2? It is y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus y1 into x minus x1. Therefore this is the curve which have minimal length when we join the points x1 y1 and x2 y2. In the next problem we have to find the curve joining the points x1 y1 and x2 y2 that yields a surface of revolution of minimum area when revolved around the x axis. Okay, namla kainya section la discuss eitho dana with respect to x axis I have to revolve a curve which join the points x1 y1 and x2 y2. இதை X-axis வெச்சிட்ட இ கர்வு ரிவால்வு செய்ன சமியத்த ஒரு surface form செய்யினும் ஆ surface இந்த area அதைத surface area minimum விருந்த ரீதியில் ஏது கர்வு அனு நம்மில X1, X2, X1, Y1 இந்த X2, Y2 இதைக்கு சூசு செய்யேண்டது அது அனு நம்மில் விடு discuss செய்யாம் போன்னது and in that section we arrived at such an integral we have to minimize the integral i equal to integral x1 to x2 2 pi y into root of 1 plus y dash square dx यह एक्सप्रेशन ला x मिसिंग आना y उम y डैश उम कारण आने डर, सो वी हैव केस c, केस c लाना नमले x मात्र मिसिंग आई टला केस डर तो द, आ केस ला नमले सॉल्यूशन इन्हों पर इन्हें द, डॉ f बाय डॉ y डैश y डैश माइनस f इक्वल टू c वन, सो यू जस्ट फाइंड डॉ f बाय डॉ y डैश ये एक्सप्रेशन बियोचे एक्सप्रेशन लेके इतनी चेहरे ने दा, so what will be dou f by dou y dash, with respect to y dash आना नमला differentiation चेहरे ने दा, so two pi y से constant, so we have root x in the formula apply नो one by two root one plus y dash square, with respect to y dash आने चेहरे ने दा, so one plus y dash square इन्दे derivative two y dash, okay? अदा अने dou f by dou y dash into y dash इर्दा अने इंदा y dash इन्दु बारे इन्दा yeah, it is y dash itself into y dash minus the function f. f is 2 pi y into root of 1 plus y dash square equal to the constant c. Okay. So, simplifying we have here 2 and 2 cancels. What remains is 2 pi y y dash square divided by square root of 1 plus y dash square 
minus 2 pi y into square root of 1 plus y dash square equal to the constant c. So, if 2 pi another constant I don't know, right side like it, we, will, we will get another constant c1. If the LCM is 1 plus uh, square root of 1 plus y dash square LCM is to simplify kainyal, finally we will get the answer as c1 y dash equal to square root of y square minus c1 square. Now you may separate the variables, separation of variables and integrating we have the solution x equal to c1 into integral 1 by root of y square minus c1 square which is equal to c1 into logarithm of y plus root of y square minus c1 square divided by c1 plus c2 1 by root of x square minus a square formula ok so here we have the result so here we get the solution as x equal to a function of y and solve for y ok then y equal to c1 into cos h hyperbolic function on cos h of x minus c2 by c1 so here the extremals are catenaries and the required minimal surface, if it exists, must be obtained by revolving a catenary. A curve catenary on the summit, the catenary equation the catenary on the summit, minimum surface area within the curve. Now the third problem is to find the curve of quickest descent. That is x1, y1 and the point in the x2, y2 and the point in the wire and the join chat in the jarika. That is the bead. Which is a curve of quickest descent. So we have to integrate the sorry, we have to minimize the integral i equal to integral x1 to s2 square root of 1 plus y dash square divided by root of 2 g y dx. Integral namla karina section discuss. And in this integral, we may see that x is missing. x is missing on the same way, again, case c and we another. Our equation is dou of by dou y dash into y dash minus f equal to c1. So, you just find dou of by dou y dash into y dash and minus f. And the equation reduces to y into 1 plus y dash square equal to a constant. Actually, the solution of this differential equation is x equal to a into theta minus sin theta, y equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. So, it is an equation of a cycloid. So, it is cycloid on the same time, x1, y1 and the point in the x2, y2 and the point in the quickest descent. These two points are connected to the other one is a cycloid. That cycloid will be the quickest descent possible. Let us have an exercise problem. Find the extremals for the integral integral x1 to x2 square root of 1 plus y dash square divided by y dx. Here the function f of x y y dash is root of 1 plus y dash square by y. Here x is missing in the function f. So the extremals are given by dou f by dou y dash into y dash minus f equal to a constant c1. So here we can we have to find dou f by dou y dash. So 1 by y is a constant here 1 by y into 1 by 2 root 1 plus y dash square into derivative of 1 plus y dash square. It is 2 y dash into this y dash minus f is root of 1 plus y dash square divided by y equal to the constant c1. Expression we will rearrange LCM to left side la ILC denominator we right side like multiply chedu. then we will get an expression like this y dash square minus 1 plus y dash square equal to c1 y into root of 1 plus y dash square. So, if it is simplify chedal, y dash square minus y dash square cancels. What remains is minus 1. So, that is equal to c1 y into root of 1 plus y dash square. Squaring both sides, we have 1 plus y dash square equal to minus 1 square is 1 divided by c1 square. It may be treated as c into y square. Again, we have y dash square equal to 1 by c y square minus 1 or y dash equal to square root of 1 by c y square minus 1. So, this is equal to root of 1 minus c y square divided by root of c y square that is root 2 sorry root c y. Separating the variables we have root c y dy divided by root of 1 minus c y square equal to dx. Before integrating we are changing the variables. 1 minus cy square is taken as u. So, we have minus 2cy dy equal to du. 
So we have y dy equal to minus 1 by 2c du. Just substitute here and integrating we have the result root u equal to minus root c into x plus c or root u is root of 1 minus c y square and squaring we have 1 minus c y square equal to c into x plus c square. So this is the required extremal.